Eureka has been declared the most realistic female robot of 2016. She can engage with people on many topics, but she lacks understanding and can't remember the context of the conversation. Erika and other realistic robots such as Sophia may be the beginning of a robotic revolution. Such a revolution would make us reconsider our whole society and would raise ethical questions such as whether an android should be taken seriously as an other being. It's very complicated to visualize a robot as an other being. Most people would probably not accept it. But first off, would it be possible for a robot to experience life the way humans are experiencing it? At this point, one should try to define what is consciousness. Wikipedia defines it as a state or quality of being aware. Not satisfying, right? Let's look at two theories on consciousness. Physicalism is a theory that consciousness is entirely physical. It means that consciousness is a physical situation that can be obtained given certain atoms arrangement. Dualism is a theory that consciousness somehow falls outside the domain of physical. To the AI researcher Christoph Koch, if you were to build a computer that has the same circuitry as the brain, this computer would also have consciousness. In my opinion, the existence of our own brains producing which conscious lives in 7 billion humans around the world is proof that consciousness can be generated by a material entity, unless you believe in a dualist soul. For those of you who believe that consciousness is a highly complex computational phenomenon, then the computer program should be able to think the way humans do. However, if you believe in a dualist soul, that may appear like a wishful thinking. Thanks so much for watching guys, I hope that you've liked this video. If you're interested by artificial intelligence and technology, I'm writing articles about it on my blog slimshimi.com.